Hi guys, Ramzan here. Here in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can integrate PayPal smart buttons into your product page of the Shopify store. This video is specific for down theme. If you have any other theme, then you can explore shopwebsitecodes.com. There I have already published a lot of codes with different themes. Now the first step is you should download the code. I have already added the link below in the description. Just click on that link and you will be downloading a zip file. Once you are extracting that zip file, you will be getting these four files. Just open documentation.txt. Here you will be getting all the steps. Now the first step is go to Shopify dashboard, click on themes, click on edit code and open snippets. So here is the dashboard of the store. You can see down theme is installed. Click on these three dots, click on duplicate first. Actually you should duplicate your theme so that later on if you have any problem you could able to restore it back. Click on then after you should click on edit code. Here we have some folders and files. Click on snippets and now the next step is create a new snippet and name of that snippet will be paypal-smart-buttons. So just click on add a new snippet and paste that name and click on done. It will be creating a new empty file and uh, we need to paste the attached code inside of this empty file. So here we have here is the attached code which is PayPal with credit card. So just copy this complete code and paste it right here. Then after you should save the changes and move ahead with the next step. The next step is add below event in quantity input. So firstly you should find this class name inside of man-product.liquid. So actually we have to go to sections, scroll it down and we have man-product.liquid and inside of it you should use control F or maybe command F to find that input element. So here we have the class name just above it we are going to paste a new line which is this one. Just copy it and paste it just above this class name. So here we go. Now you can see that we have added a new event. Then click on save. The next step is add your live client ID of PayPal in line number 8. So actually we have paypal-smart-buttons.liquid. In line number 8 we have added a client ID. So this is the sandbox client ID of the PayPal but you have to use actual live client ID of your PayPal. I will be adding a video link in the description. You just need to follow that video and find live client ID of your PayPal and then copy and paste it here. Make sure to enclose this client ID with double quotes and then after you can also change the currency which is like right now I have added US dollars. You can change it to Euro if you want. EUR will be the currency code. If you have any other currency code you can update it here. The next thing is inspect quantity selector element and get ID and paste it in line number 8. So actually we need an ID which is for the quantity. So click on preview store. We will be redirecting to the home page of the down theme. Click on catalog and select any of the product for example underwear and then you should uh, right click on this quantity selector. Click on inspect and here you will be getting this input element. If you don't see this input element then you should click on this inspector and click on this quantity input element and it will be automatically uh, redirecting you to this input element. You should uh, copy this id. id equals to quantity. You should double uh, click on it and it will be highlighted and you should copy this and paste it right here. So once you are pasting it you should click on save and then after move ahead with the next step which is go to assets open global.js. So we have to scroll it down and here we have assets and then you should find it here global.js. So here is global.js. Inside of it we are going to find this function. Copy this using control F or maybe command F. So you can find it. It will be highlighted like this. So this is a function actually starting from here and ending at this curly brace and just above the ending curly brace we are going to paste this new line of code. Just copy that and paste it just above it. So once done then click on save and move ahead with the seventh step which is go to customize product and create a custom HTML section and paste below code. We have to go to dashboard of the store again. Click on customize click on this drop down and click on products here we have default products on the right hand on the right hand side you can see that this is product information and we have to click on add block click on custom liquid and we need to paste inside of this input box so we have to copy this line of code and paste it right here and we also need to drag this custom liquid just below buy buttons and then click on save. Once the changes are saved then you will see those PayPal buttons just below it. So sometime you don't want this buy it now button how you can remove it. Just click on buy buttons uncheck this and click on save again. You can see that buy now button has been removed. Now let's see on the front view. So on mobile view it will look like this. 
you can see how beautiful it is and on the desktop view it will look like this so now let's cross check the prices the title color variant quantity inside of paypal buttons so we need to cross check that uh, the price so we have to confirm that uh, the values are coming correctly to the paypal buttons or not so just click on paypal button i am going to log into my sandbox account so you should test it with your original uh, paypal account you should click on this price and here you can see one underwear dark and price is 20 dollars so actually this information is correct all right for example i am increasing the quantity and let's see now if it is updated or not here we go next thing is to cross check the color variant for example i am selecting cream then click on paypal button and click on this price and here you can see that cream color variant is updated with price 20 us dollars so that means the information is correct now so for say example your customers don't have paypal account they are interested to pay using debit or credit card button they need to click on this button and it will be opening uh, a form where the customer can enter their card details they can uh, put the billing address they can put the shipping address and stuff and then click on pay now to purchase the product so in some cases we don't want this yellow button so how you can remove this yellow button i have already attached a new code which is only credit card txt just copy this complete code and paste it right here you should remove this code and paste the new code and then click on save one more thing you have to do is you should actually update this id because this id is uh, copied id so you should right click inspect and then copy this quantity id and paste it right here and then click on save and then refresh this page again now you will see that only credit card button is appearing the yellow button has been disappeared and for now i am interested to keep the yellow button as well so you should undo these changes click on save and then refresh this page again and you will see yellow button with debit or credit card button if you want you can also see the mobile view so this is how it is looking so i think this looks more beautiful and this is an additional option for your customers to purchase the product quickly because in most of the cases we don't have credit or debit card button so most of the customers don't buy this because they don't have the paypal account all right so that's how you can implement this code if you are feeling if you are thinking like this is difficult for you you can ask me i will definitely help you out in that and uh, if you have any question you can ask me below in the comment section i will be adding the contact details below in the description you can ask me any question whichever you have so thank you so much for watching this video if you are new on this channel then please like this video also subscribe this channel thank you once again see you in the next video